Thanks. So welcome from Israel uh, to this um, uh, pre-conference workshop. Um, this is uh, this will be uh, focused on uh, decentralizing education uh, with the use of, blo of uh, blockchain technology. Uh, my name is Alexander Mikroyanidis. I'm a research fellow at the Open University in the UK, uh, and my expertise is in technology-enhanced learning. And in particular, I've been working in the areas of uh, personalized learning, self-regulated learning, um, uh, open education and open educational resources, uh, and more recently on how uh, uh, the uh, and how education can be decentralized uh, through the use of uh, this, uh, through the use of uh, uh, blockchain technology. Um, this uh, this session is uh, related to the uh, to the Qualitain project, which is a European project. I'll uh, say a few more about this uh, in a bit. Uh, so this is uh, supposed to be this will be um, uh, uh, an interactive session, a hands-on session, meaning that uh, I will do a, a short presentation first, and then uh, you'll have the opportunity to try. Uh, the the free online platform that the uh, that the project has uh, developed um, and uh, uh, voice your feedback uh, and your uh, comments and suggestions. Um, so as I said, as I mentioned already, the uh, this is uh, this session will be centered around quality um, and the quality chain platform. So there will be a short introduction first, and then uh, we will have plenty of time for a plenary activity, a hands-on activity uh, that um, uh, you will be uh, uh, asked to, to perform on the um, uh, on the quality chain platform. Uh, this will be a very simple uh, three-step uh, 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 sequence of uh, of tasks, so yeah, that you get a very first glimpse of what this platform has to offer um, and um, uh, you'll be uh, very, you'll be very welcome to um, uh, uh, to, to discuss uh, uh, and voice your questions and comments and suggestions uh, based on this um, uh, activity right so let me start by generally uh, setting out the motivation for this uh, for this work for this uh, more general endeavor um, so as we all know we, we are currently operating in a centralized education model uh, which is no longer sustainable uh, because first of all learning happens increasingly outside uh, the brick and mortar lecture halls uh, outside schools, colleges, and universities. It happens online within communities uh, of like minded individuals or by contributing to projects and initiatives in the real world. Uh, learning is also far more international than it used to be, uh, meaning that key education players open campuses abroad. Students travel to different countries to improve their employability prospects, so there needs to be um, uh, effort to uh, address this mobility. And finally, we uh, this is uh, uh, obviously more uh, um, uh, present and timely and urgent in the post-COVID uh, pandemic world, where we are uh, edu where education providers usually do not have uh, remit or the means and capacity to cover the range of activities that uh, learners engage with, uh, which attest to their uh, achievements, uh, knowledge, and skills. So the vision behind this, uh, behind this initiative, behind decentralizing education, is uh, an education model uh, in which the awarding and validation of qualifications does not uh, occur exclusively under the management of an education institution or an employer. Uh, in, this, in this paradigm, in this model, individual students, teachers and peers uh, take ownership of the uh, learning experience and its outcomes, 
but at the same time, and this is very important, without compromising on the safety, security, and accessibility. So uh, I should uh, uh, obviously I should mention that the the blockchain has a core role uh, to play as a technology in this uh, in this vision and in this initiative. Um, we don't need to get into the uh, uh, into a lot of details about this uh, emerging technology. It's very well known because of the uh, because of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. What it is is essentially a cryptographically secure, a shared distributed ledger. Uh, in this uh, ledger, each block aggregates a timestamp batch of transactions, and it's identified by a cryptographic signature. Uh, all blocks are backlinked so that the chain can be traced all the way back to the very first block created. And um, uh, as such, the uh, blockchain contains an uneditable record of all transactions. So, um, as I mentioned before, we have, uh, I have been um, um, uh, actively involved in the Quality Chain project uh, for the past uh, two and a half years. Uh, this is a Horizon 2020 project. Um, uh, we started in 2019 and is due to finish at the end of this year. Uh, we are 10 partners um, and uh, we are investigating the uh, verification and management of uh, uh, decentralized qualifications uh, for learner empowerment, education, reengineering, and public sector uh, transformation. Uh, we are targeting four key areas. First of all, lifelong learning. This is the area uh, where I am leading uh, a pilot regarding the um, decentralization of qualifications and the use of these uh, qualifications in, uh, in order to support lifelong learning. We are also exploring uh, smart curriculum design, uh, meaning uh, this, uh, curriculum, higher education curri curri curricula, that are adaptable uh, to the needs of the of learners and also of the uh, job market. Uh, we are also targeting public sector staffing. Uh, we have uh, some uh, national agencies like ASEP in Greece who are doing recruitment at a national level for the public sector and want to optimize their services, the, the, the services, the recruiting services that they uh, offer to the public, for example, in order to uh, identify fraudulent qualifications and generally speed up uh, the validation uh, and, the ver the ver and the verification of uh, qualifications. And finally, we are also exploring the, uh, the area of uh, uh, HR consultancy and competency management services. So the lifelong learning pilot, this is, this is the uh, pilot that I am uh, leading on behalf of the Open University. Uh, we are looking specifically into how we can offer um, uh, transparent and immutable accreditation to lifelong learners. Uh, and we are also looking into how we can offer personalized recommendations to lifelong learners so that we can help them in their personal and also in their professional uh, progression. So this is a very uh, high-level overview of the main use case that we are investigating within this uh, within this pilot. Um, we are looking into uh, uh, the main actors uh, uh, being life, the lifelong learner and also the educational institution. The lifelong learner studies online courses and receives uh, smart badges. These are um, um, uh, these are badges, open badges. Uh, which are blockchain based and um, they offer immutable and instantly uh, verifiable accreditation. And they also contain the key skills that the um, learner has uh, acquired uh, through their lifelong learning journey. So on top of this, uh, on top of this data, uh, which, are, which are stored on the blockchain, we are able to offer personalized recommendations about jobs, uh, and courses. Uh, we are offering specifically uh, recommendations about uh, jobs that are a complete match or a partial match to the skills of the learner. 
Uh, and for those jobs that um, uh, that, the, that the learner is missing uh, some skills, we are also offering recommendations about courses which will, which will offer uh, to the learner these missing skills. Uh, and the whole personal portfolio of the learner is uh, uh, hosted uh, on the it's, it's based on the blockchain. Um, this I, I won't go into a lot of technical detail, but also this. Um, uh, this architecture uh, includes other uh, uh, technologies as well. Uh, for example, on top of the on, in, uh, on top of the blockchain, we also use um, other uh, technologies such as uh, solid uh, uh, solid pods. This is a new technology uh, pioneered by Tim Berners-Lee in order to store the personal data uh, of the learner. Which is not uh, which is not stored on the blockchain. So the blockchain only contains uh, hashes, that are pointers uh, to the data uh, which which is stored uh, elsewhere. Um, in this way, we also achieve the uh, we also address uh, self-sovereign identity and uh, allowing the learner to control their uh, their identity data because these are not uh, his identity is not. Uh, controlled by a central entity, by an educational institution, but uh, they, uh, but the learner themselves, they have um, a, a control of this identity. And also, we have, um, uh, we are able to allow the learner to control their uh, learning assets, their uh, le all the learning, uh, all the data associated with their learning journey, uh, all their qualifications and achievements. And we are uh, able to allow the learner to control who uh, is who can access this data, uh, which third parties can access this data. For example, a prospect employer. Uh, also, who uh, for how long uh, they can access this data, uh, and in what ways uh, they will be accessing this data. Right, so uh, where we are now is we are currently launching the quality chain platform. This addresses uh, the requirements and also the scenarios of the project pilot. Um, and uh, we are piloting the quality chain platform and engaging stakeholders through dedicated workshops like this session and also through other opportunities and online channels, uh, for example, open online courses and webinars. Uh, and we will also be collating and publishing the lessons learned and best practices from this uh, initiative. Uh, we are also organizing a special issue on the blockchain-based decentralized solutions uh, for learner empowerment, education re-engineering, and public sector transformation. And this will be published in the uh, in a new Elsevier journal, Blockchain Research and Applications. This is an open access uh, journal, but the, uh, all the author fees are covered by the editorial team. So this is all the all. So the so the special issue will be published as gold, uh, open access without any uh, fees uh, being paid by the uh, by the authors. Um, the the submission deadline is February February of next year, um, and. Uh, We'll, we'll have all the decisions, final decisions on the, on the papers accepted uh, by May of next year. So if you, uh, if you are interested in this research area, uh, do get in touch with me. I am the, the leading guest editor for this, uh, for this special issue. I'll be happy to uh, answer any questions you may have. Right, so this completes the first part of this, uh, of this session. Um, at this point, we will uh, next we'll then have the uh, uh, the uh, uh, activity, the hands-on activity that I mentioned before, using the quality chain platform. But but before we do that, uh, I will open the floor to any questions or comments uh, you have already. Uh, you can either type in the chat or you can unmute your microphone and um, uh, or you can unmute your microphone and. Uh, uh, speak um, uh, and ask your question. I see that Steve has raised his hands. Go ahead, Steve. Hi, is my microphone working? Yes, I can hear you fine. 
Um, have I understood correctly that the assets are stored centrally uh, or, or on the blockchain? Um, so that you were talking about uh, restricting access um, to the things that they've created. Um, so the student isn't storing that themselves and then the hash is verifying it, but that's actually stored on the blockchain or elsewhere. Uh, the, so on the blockchain, we only have the hashes to um, uh, to data being stored elsewhere. The storage, uh, st the storage can be anything. It can be uh, whatever the uh, the learner chooses. So as a recommended decentralized approach, uh, we have uh, what I was I mentioned before the solid uh, uh, storage, uh, which is uh, completely decentralized. Uh, and it can be hosted uh, anywhere, for example, on the mobile phone of the uh, of the of the learner, um, and it works like a personal uh, a Dropbox, but the, your your data is not uh, controlled by uh, um, an entity like Google or uh, or Dropbox. But equally, yeah, this this can be stored uh, on a central on any other uh, type of storage. Um, that the learner uh, chooses to to use. If the 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 um, the, uh, the infrastructure that um, uh, guarantees the uh, the immutability and the uh, and the um, uh, and the verification process of this uh, data is obviously is of course the, the blockchain uh, uh, where all the uh, uh, where, where all the uh, where all the data pointers are and uh, the um, uh, where someone, for example, an employer can uh, check the validity of a certain certificate of a, of a certain certificate of a qualification uh, that is being submitted to them. Does that help? Does that answer uh, your question? Yes, thank you. Okay, I can see um, uh, Mar Mar Marlies. Uh, I'm not. If I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Yes, that's correct, Marlies. Thank you. Um, I'm just wondering. So I um, I understand the idea of the ledger and, and blockchain. I work as a learning designer, and I I always um, I, I think one of the problems to overcome with this is how you trans translate qualitative data into quantitative data, if you will, because especially when you're talking about personalized learning and um, kind of that uh, smart curriculum, um, I think that's uh, quite a hurdle to overcome in terms of the type of um, uh, the type of experience you need with creating those types of uh, learning journeys, if you will. Could you expand on that a little bit more in in your project? How you are approaching that problem? um so we are so we are trying to provide some um some scaffolding to um to to, to, to the lifelong learners journey in this by the by way of uh, offering some recommendations about uh, the next steps what should i study next uh, or which jobs are suitable uh, for mm -hmm. me and the, the whole uh, the, the, uh, uh, the, the data that where we base these these this, these recommendations on are essentially the skills that uh, the learner uh, is acquiring by studying courses and acquire and, and and gaining being awarded uh, 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 badges and certificates uh, and also the skills that the employers are are are, are looking for. Um, and they are um, um, and, 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 and they are including their uh, uh, in, in open job positions. Um, of course, there could be uh, there, there are several other dimensions. We have not touched, or for example, on uh, the collaboration that uh, could on, on community build community aspects and collaborative aspects between. Uh, learners and uh, and potential and then uh, uh, tutors. Uh, um, there is uh, we, we, where, where again the uh, the blockchain can help. Uh, for example, you can have uh, uh, a reputation based system where you can find uh, um, uh, tutors, the best tutors 
uh, for for a particular uh, in order to gain a particular skill, in order to gain some uh, in order to gain certain qualifications. Uh, a reputation system that will be based on the blockchain, and again, it, it will be it will work uh, 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 with 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 reputation tokens. So there is there's several things that we haven't that that we are keen that we are keen to address uh, even after the uh, this current project ends, which which is which, uh, which is essentially what 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 we'll be doing um, after the um, this this Horizon 2020 project it comes to an end at the end of this year. Okay. Does that sound something that you might be interested in, or uh, have I lost you completely? <laughs> no, no, no. It does. I, it's it's interesting actually. I I hadn't thought about the the um, the tutor in relation to that. So so that was definitely interesting. I um, we're looking very much into um, you know what type of triggers would you put into your materials, and and we're talking at the moment about making the learner visible because we're not using anything like a blockchain yet so it's not fully automated so we still have human interpretation of that data at the back end um, but i do think it's definitely something you know as a as a learning designer that i want to dive deeper into going forward because it's it's going to become more and more important to learn how to uh, set those triggers and then get the right data from it that is interpretable as well if you if you see what I mean, so so definitely very mm. interesting. So I would I would certainly like to to know more about your uh, your work, Marlies. Mm -hmm. So uh, feel free, please do get in touch. Uh, well, Jeff, or, well, uh, yeah, yeah. Any other comments, questions before we move on to the to the next uh, bit? Um, so uh, in the interest of time let's move forward um, so in this uh, uh, in this activity through very through three three very simple steps uh, you'll have a first glimpse of how uh, of the platform that we have built uh, within the within the quality chain project this is a this is a platform that is uh, specifically about uh, blockchain based uh, qualifications uh, and we are piloting it uh, within these different uh, uh, key areas that I mentioned before. So in our uh, in our case, uh, we'll be um, um, uh, uh, in, in, in this case, we will have a, the very simple scenario uh, of um, registering for the platform which is the first step i will uh, paste the the links uh, in the chat so they are easy to um uh, to access um so the first two steps are here thanks steve for uh putting the link uh, to the course already um so uh in the uh, in the uh, uh login form this is the uh, the second tab uh the create new account tab uh, for the purpose of this uh, of this activity of this exercise, please um, uh, 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 select the the job seeker slash learner um, um, role, um, which you can see here. I think I can draw on this on on my slides. Um, and then the next step, as soon as you uh, register. Uh, should be will be the um, uh, will be to enroll for a course uh, which is related to this session to this workshop. Uh, this is for uh, for you to uh, this is for me to be able to uh, uh, to award you uh, uh, the uh, the smart buds uh, which is um, um, uh, which is related to this uh, uh, to this session. So I'll wait for uh, uh, 10 minutes uh, until you have had the chance to um, uh, to do this. As soon as I uh, as soon as I uh, see you enrolled in the course, I will also be uh, awarding you the uh, the badge.
I can see we've got a question from Steve yes. in the chat, which is what do we select under organization? There, there's no need to select uh, any organization. I mean, you can leave that, uh, that bit blank. Um, so it shouldn't uh, require you to, to fill in uh, uh, to select an organization, but if you must, uh, let me see, you can either uh, type in your organization or select something from the drop down, but I, I highly doubt that. Um, I've just seen that it's, um, it's my email address, it doesn't work like. The form doesn't seem to like me having a dash in my email address. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, so the organization uh, um, um, uh, field is uh, is not uh, mandatory, as far as I can tell, uh, as long as you select the uh, the job seeker or learner uh, role. Um, if 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 it if there is a bug there and it doesn't let you move on, then just select uh, any uh, any organization. Doesn't matter. Um, but normally this shouldn't be uh, this shouldn't um, stop you from registering. Um, uh, Steve, what was the other problem with your email again? Doesn't which which character uh, does it? Uh, um, there's a, a dash in my email address. If I delete oh. the dash, it's happy with that field. Um, huh. Otherwise, it's saying that's it. So I, I thought it was because I hadn't selected organization. That's why I thought that, that was mandatory. Um, but I realized that actually it would let me continue if I delete the dash. But then obviously, we're ah. in my email address. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll uh, feedback that to our developers <laughs> to be able to allow, yeah, uh, this, this, uh, these special characters in, uh, in emails. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, so this is, this is um, um, uh, one of the reasons that uh, we are actually doing this exercise. And uh, I am uh, very grateful for uh, uh, for all of you that are um, uh, that are engaged in this activity. Uh, this is not only for you to have uh, to have a look at the services that this platform offers, but also for, from our side, we are very keen to know your comments and ideas, but also the very little bugs and problems. Uh, that uh, that will inevitably arise. Okay, we'll we'll um, yeah we'll uh, um, we'll have a look at that. Thanks, Steve. For the time being, if you could use a different email address, that's fine. You don't you you, you can use uh, for the time being. I think you can use any uh, any email. There's no there's not going to be. We have uh, temporarily disabled the verification of the email itself. So it doesn't matter if um, uh, uh, if you put the right email there, uh, it will still let you uh, register. Um, we've done this to speed up a bit the, the registration process while we are still fixing bugs uh, on the platform. Um, okay. Yeah, I've, I've, I've gone ahead and used a different email address. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's fine. It doesn't even have to be a valid email address for the time being. I can see that Tilly has already registered for the uh, course, so I'm uh, awarding her the, um, uh, the badge of this course. Thanks very much. Although I can't find anything to read on the course, is there anything to read? 
No, no, there isn't. Uh, oh, okay. Um, just, just checking I, I that could, I'm not missing uh, something. No, 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 that's, that's fine. I mean, this is just a, a skeleton uh, course. Uh, this is just a skeleton for the, like a wrapper for the buds, essentially. Yeah. Um, I, I could, uh, yeah, I could possibly add the slides, add my slides there later on, uh, if that helps. But for the time being, there's not, not much to, um, uh, to read there. So where, where do I see my badge? Um, let me uh, paste that in the chat. So this is actually the next step um, in, uh, in this activity. So this is the link. Uh, and there's also the, the, uh, the tab uh, Smart Badges, the, a link smart, called Smart Badges uh, on the top of the, um, on the, top of the, of the menu bar. Um, so basically, on the, uh, if you go to that page, if you go to the smart badges page, you can see on your right hand side the badges that have been uh, awarded to you. And by clicking on the badge, you can actually see the main data uh, of the badge. Uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, in this case, this badge is awarded to the participants of this, uh, of the quality chain events that uh, the Open University is organizing. You can see the skills uh, that are, that are um, uh, associated with this badge. Uh, and also there is a green button for uh, validating uh, the badge. This is something that, for example, uh, um, a third party can do on your behalf. You can do it yourself, you can validate your badge, but also when you submit this qualification to a third party, like uh, an education institution, uh, where you, when you are applying for a, for a course to, uh, or a prospect employer, uh, they can uh, press this button and uh, validate uh, your credentials. Um, so this is this is a very very simple uh, 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 scenario where you are um, um, you you complete a course, you gain skills, uh, and you can approve these skills. Uh, 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 essentially instantly uh, with the click of a button uh, and this is important uh, one thing that I should also mention is that this uh, this uh, permanent record this this uh, record stays permanently on the blockchain even if uh, the awarding body even if the university the open university for example stops ceases to exist uh, so this is this is uh, 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 this this can um, uh, this can have this can uh, optimize, this can streamline this, uh, uh, the verification process in the case that uh, the awarding body uh, has changed their name, they have not, they're not the same uh, uh, entity anymore, they have merged with another entity and they cannot be contacted um, uh, in a straightforward way, which is, which is very common these days. For example, my, uh, uh, my master's degree was awarded from UMIST, that was the uh, uh, University of Manchester Institute of Science and Technology, uh, which no longer exists. It merged with the University of Manchester uh, some quite some time ago. Um, so if I had uh, a smart badge on the blockchain, then I would not. I would, that would be very easy for me to um, to prove the uh, validity of my. Uh, master's degree. So I'm seeing that uh, um, some um, uh, some more people have registered for the uh, for the course. So I'm assigning badges, um, so you can um, so that you can uh, have a look and um, uh, uh, and, to, and and you can have a look at the at their data um, and uh, validate them. Um, while I'm doing that, if you have any uh, questions or comments, um, I'll be happy to uh, answer them. So yes, uh, 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 Steve is asking, how do I prove who I am on the blockchain with the login we just created? So ideally, uh, you would have um, um, uh, uh, 
you, 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 you would already have an identity uh, uh, on the blockchain. So this could be provided uh, by uh, an educational institution or it can be provided uh, um, uh, 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 by the governing body of the uh, of the blockchain. Uh, it, uh, we are, for example, in this case, uh, in the case of higher education, uh, of the higher education pilot that we are conducting uh, in uh, in Greece and in a few countries, we are looking into the seal uh, 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 authentication, um, which uh, lets, um, uh, which is which which uses the. Um, let me uh, check again. It uses um, an external provider. Uh, for proving um, uh, for identification uh, um, uh, uh, management um, let me check uh, I think it's the um, yes it's the edge again uh, um, uh, uh, infrastructure uh, infrastructure offered from Giant. So this is across uh, across Europe. Uh, this is a syndication of uh, of universities uh, offering logins. Um, uh, so this they they would uh, uh, they would essentially um, uh, Provide uh, uh, they, they they would they would um, prove that um, uh, uh, someone is who is saying they are. Um, but again, yeah. But then again, yeah. This uh, uh, it doesn't have to be one central entity. This can be uh, you can have an identity which is uh, which is uh, uh, validated against. Um, 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 the governing body of uh, of the uh, of the blockchain, um, or it can be yeah something um, something which is provided by an educational institution, or uh, or an employer, or uh, an association, a network of uh, of education institutions. Um, Till is asking if the qualifications have monetary value, then can this be hacked? Um, ideally, not. Um, so, of course, the uh, uh, like every other technology, the blockchain is not uh, foolproof, a hundred percent. It's nearly there. So there haven't been many uh, cases of. Um, uh, of, of, of blockchains being hacked, uh, uh, although this is not this is not something unheard of, uh, but at least this is um, uh, the blockchain generally provides some uh, provides uh, uh, this this um, uh, this guarantee of trust uh, and security between uh, the transactions conducted uh, between different parties. So. In, in, in short, my answer is that it should not, uh, someone should not be able to hack these credentials because they are checked against the immutable record um, uh, on the blockchain. Um, let's see, I'm checking to see if uh, anyone else has been, uh, has registered for the, uh, for the course. Um, so, uh, uh, all in all, this is uh, um, uh, these are the very uh, uh, simple steps that uh, 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 I wanted you to to, 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 to 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 carry out on the platform uh, today. I won't. Uh, um, uh, I will not uh, uh, get. I'll not go. I'll not go into the more. Uh, uh, complex aspects of uh, of what this platform has to offer, um, and um, uh, uh, there is a lot more uh, behind uh, uh, besides uh, being awarded and validating badges. 
Um, so let me see Marlies saying that uh, saying that she has registered. So Marlies, if you could go to this course, I'll paste it again in the chat. And then uh, and and if you enroll for this course, then I will be able to um, to award you the uh, the smart buds. So beyond um, uh, this very simple scenario that we uh, that we have seen here today, uh, the the platform is offering some more uh, uh, some additional services. For example, you can if you uh, if you start populating your CV with skills, then um, you will start receiving recommendations uh, about courses and jobs. Uh, and there's other, and there's some other, uh, some additional services uh, as well, which are more tailored to the other, um, to the other uh, scenarios, to the other pilots that we are conducting within the uh, within this project. Um, I can see you, Marlies, and I'm uh, awarding you uh, your badge right now, so you'll be able to see it uh, in a minute in your um, uh, in your badges. Uh, in the budget section of this uh, of the platform, so this I hope this has been um, um, uh, uh, I hope this has given you a, a, a first glimpse uh, of of this uh, 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 of this ongoing uh, endeavor into decentralizing education. Um, uh, I think we can draw this session to a close unless uh, there are uh, more questions i will encourage you to uh, to explore further the platform uh, i will encourage you to uh, follow us to, to to get in touch with me and also follow us uh, follow the project on social media we are very keen on listening to your views this is why i will also be sending around uh, uh, in the next within the next day or so a questionnaire uh, to those of you who have registered uh, on the platform, um, where you will be able to uh, uh, to evaluate uh, uh, this this uh, uh, not only this platform but generally uh, this initiative as a whole. Um, and uh, with this, I will uh, uh, let you uh, a few minutes earlier. Uh, it's quite a nice day uh, today, so. Um, uh, I will let you uh, uh, carry on uh, with with your work uh, or uh, go out for a walk and I will also wish you uh, to enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you all for uh, for attending this. Thank you ever so much for that.